Welcome to the Design Knit video learning series. In this tutorial we will give a simple interactive knitting example for machine knitting. We wanted to shape only garment piece on a non-electronic machine. Here's a standard shape I made earlier. We can pick from this list here or click browse shape files and then click OK. Let's choose a sleeve because that will have some increases happening after just a few rows and OK again. Owners of the complete product level will be able to choose whether knitting by hand or machine, so select machine and OK. Here is the interactive knitting screen. For shape only knitting there are three main areas. Countdown and shaping instructions at the top left, a window at the top right where we can see our progress through the piece. As you can see we have our carriage set to the right here and this will follow us through as we knit through the piece. And at the bottom we have a needle bed window where the row about to be knitted is shown between two black lines. There's also needle numbers shown at the bottom of that window. The needles area up here in the shaping instructions window shows which needles are in use for the row about to be knitted. So it says here left needle 43 to right needle 43 and we can see that that agrees with down here in the needle bed window left 43 to right 43. So if we just go to the middle of the piece I will to show you these buttons here. So we have a magnifying glass here. If we click on that it changes the view so we can see the left hand side of the piece here, the right hand side of the piece here again with the needle numbers at the bottom. If we press the magnifying glass again here we can see the middle of the piece, the right hand side of the piece and the left hand side of the piece. And If we press it again it goes back to viewing the whole row. If we use these arrow buttons here, it doesn't actually change where you're up to in the piece. It just changes how many rows you can see before and after. So we'll just go back to the beginning of the piece. So before we start, we'll make sure that we've turned on the options for voice instructions here and visual instructions here. You can play about with these. There's different alerts you can have and it'll give you an alert when something needs doing. So at this point we have a screen link attached to the computer's USB port. The screen link can be used to do interactive knitting with almost any knitting machine. Each knitting machine could have its own type of cable connected, so we'll start by choosing that by going into Options, Knitting Machine. We'll choose the Brother Standard Punch Card for this tutorial, and then select Setup. We'll then make sure that the magnetic switch link is selected for the cable link and go to find link, start search. So designer knit now knows that the screen link is on port number four and is ready to use it. This only needs doing once when you're setting up the link for the first time. So if we go to OK, OK again and OK again. So we'll just make sure that the sensor or knit link box is velcroed in place near the middle of the needle bed and that the magnetic knit link arm is vel velcroed to the carriage. Just check those. Yeah, all in place. So once we've told Design Init that knitting has started, then each time the carriage passes the knit link box, Design Init detects the movement and updates the screen, giving any necessary shaping instructions for the following row. So if we just click the amber traffic light here, this will prepare us to start knitting. So here you'll see your instructions. So we'll just stop recording while we do the cast on and knit the required amount of rib. OK, I've done that and now we're ready to start knitting the main stitch. So I'm going to click OK and you'll be able to hear when the carriage is moving. So we've now knitted the first row and the countdown window shows how many rows of straight knitting here that there are to do before the next shaping instruction. So this number will decrease by one each time we move the carriage. So see how each time the carriage is roughly halfway through knitting the row, the screen updates. Increase right, one, increase left, one. So you'll have heard that shaping instruction. So the top left window also shows you what to do. So increase left, one, and increase right, one. So we do that. And then we continue. So we'll just proceed and knit a few more rows. Increase 
increase right one increase left one so now suppose we've done enough knitting for today and we want to close the computer I click the red traffic light button here and that tells design in it to make a note of where I got to when I next open design in it and knit with the same knitting machine it will know that it needs to start at that row number